welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be a cook with me i'm going to be doing um cooking uh making two meals out of one thing um i do this because it is just the two of us um camila is a very picky eater um because this is what it's like we just got home i just picked her up from my mom's house it is 505 um i'm going to be cooking dinner but i want to show you guys <laughs> That when I do cook, I always do <laughs> cook tonight's dinner and then the second meal will be frozen <laughs> for another meal for the days that I do not feel like cooking. <laughs> of this one. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, guys. I know that a lot of people, when they're looking for these videos, they want something that's professional and whatever. This is a realistic mom life cook with me, okay? So I'm going to play with her for a little bit and then I'll start cooking dinner. <laughs> if you guys are new, <laughs> if you guys, if you guys are new to my channel, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it so far. <laughs> Let me play with her and then we'll start cooking. <laughs> All right, guys. So finally, let's start cooking dinner. It is now 512. She ended up having a major meltdown. So um, she's playing with her Mr. Potato Head. So let's get cooking. So what I'm going to be using is um, some ground turkey. And with ground turkey, I'm going to make two meals. I'm going to be making stuffed peppers and then a baked pasta dish with penne pasta. That pasta dish, um, pasta dishes are great to make ahead of time and freeze. Um, so I'll be freezing that and I'll show you guys how I freeze it so it doesn't get freezer burn, no ickiness. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Things first, of course, wash your hands. <laughs> Shouldn't have to tell you that, but so I'm just going to wash my hands really quickly. You can use ground beef or ground chicken. Honestly, you can use any kind of meat that you like. Um, I like ground turkey and I like ground chicken. Um, oh, sorry, this hand soap smells so good. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and boil the water. Um, you wanna be as efficient as possible. So as the water is boiling for the noodles, I'm going to go ahead and salt it. I use pink Himalayan salt for everything. It has a lot of really great benefits. Um, and then I'm gonna be chopping up some garlic while the water is boiling. So again, you wanna be efficient as possible. So let's go ahead and chop these babies up. Um, and I learned how to, um, a lot of people have like garlic, um, peelers um, I do it this way I learned it from Rachel Ray way back in the day and I believe she still does it that way but um, it's a lot easier for me um, I like to be very hands-on when I'm cooking and that's why you need to wash your hands before you start cooking <laughs> Alright guys, so now that the water is boiling perfectly, you're going to go ahead and put your noodles that you're going to be using in the water and cook it according to the directions on the package. While that's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cook up my ground turkey. I'm going to be using um, just olive oil, a little bit of olive oil in the pan and some garlic. I love the aroma that it gives off. Olive oil and garlic cooking, I don't know what it is, it smells amazing. Um, you can cook your ground turkey, whatever protein of your choice that you chose for your dinner, you can cook it how according to however you cook it. So season it however you like. But these are the seasonings that I use, and I'm going to go ahead and cook this really quickly.
right, so while everything is cooking, really quickly to the side, I'm going to be making these cheese mixture. I'm going to be using cream cheese, but you can use ricotta cheese if you'd like, or even mascarpone. Um, but it's cream cheese, some shredded cheese, some shredded Parmesan or mozzarella cheese, um, and then any seasonings that you like. These are the ones that I'm going to be using, garlic, onion powder, and oregano. Um, and I'm going to be using this for my pasta dish that's going to be prepped um, and frozen. That's done, I'm gonna put that to the side, go ahead and finish cooking up my meat and turn it off. I'm gonna drain the pasta and in that same pot, I'm actually gonna go ahead and divide the meat. The reason I do that is because remember we're making two dishes. So in that pot, I'm gonna be doing, adding some pasta sauce and that's the meat that I'm gonna be using for my pasta dish. The meat that I leave in the pan is what I'm gonna be using for these stuffed peppers. Yes, that is my toddler that you see wandering around in the back. Uh, she is now just kind of popping in and out the kitchen looking for snacks. Um, she took off her shirt because she got it dirty. She hates to be dirty. So if you're wondering, this is real mom life. This is a real cook with me. <laughs> so for cooking these stuffed peppers, you can use any dish that you like depending on how many peppers you're going to be cooking. In this case, I'm only cooking three because it is just for myself and my boyfriend. You're gonna fill it with um, your choice of protein along with any other filling that you would like. Some people mix it with rice. I don't like it that way, but this is the way that I cook mine. I add um, shredded cheese on top and I do a lot of cheese because I really like cheese. Um, and in the pan, I do wanna note that I did add a tablespoon of water this is because when I top it with aluminum foil to put it in the oven, what it's what the water is going to do is help steam cook the peppers. Um, so the peppers are still are become a little bit more cooked and tender. They won't be mushy, so that's why you don't want to put too much. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put the peppers in the oven, covered like this at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. While that is baking is when I'm going to be putting together my pasta make-ahead dish. How I actually make this is just layering it like if you were going to do a lasagna. So um, the pasta sauce on the bottom, the noodles with that cheese mixture that I had prepped earlier, I mix it with the noodles and a little bit of the sauce just to kind of make that first layer. Then you're going to layer it with um, your meat on the top with cheese and then another layer of the pasta as well and a pasta with that cream cheese mixture. The reason I do that is because you, I like my pasta very creamy and very cheesy, especially since we're going to be freezing it. Um, when we take it out in a couple of days or the following week to put it in the oven, you guys, it is so delicious and so creamy and so cheesy. Um, so that's why I layer it that way. So I'm going to be using press and seal. This is how I prep my freeze ahead meals. Um, so this is what it looks like. I like press and seal because you really can press and seal it. Um, so you're going to see how I do it this really quickly. Um, but I want to seal it to make sure that all edges are sealed before I put the actual lid that goes to this on the top. And then I just stick it in the freezer. And usually with freeze ahead meals, I'll um, use them within the week so it does stay pretty good and then I can just take it out later on 375 and heat it up for about 45 minutes to an hour so I first take them out of the oven um, and put them back into the oven without the foil and I put it on low broil for about another five or ten minutes um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take these little babies out. I'll show you guys what they look like. They are seamed to perfection. They are ready to go. You can garnish it however you like. You can use this as your main dish or even oh as gosh. a side, but this is what's for dinner tonight. It may not look like much, but it's really, really good. Very flavorful, super cheesy. And I like yellow pepper because it has a little bit of a sweetness to it. Comment down below what if you have a favorite color pepper, do you like peppers at all? Or do you have a favorite stuffed pepper recipe that you like? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. She right now is going around. The boo is not home from work yet, so I have to eat now because then I have to start putting her to bed actually pretty soon. So I eat now because if not, then 
I won't be eating till 9 30 10 o'clock at night and usually by then then I'm not hungry and then there it goes <laughs> mom life right if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. bye